Hello and good afternoon everyone, I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Watzel with a look at your afternoon a video update for Wednesday, November 24th. Well, earlier today across central and eastern Wyoming, we did have some bands of snowfall develop. We also had some leftover snowfall this morning in the western mountains and valleys, as well as near South Pass. Some of these bands did produce some localized heavier snowfall, producing those hard-to-predict snow squalls along sections of I-25 and I-80, a couple in particular that we'll talk about in a minute. But as we get through the rest of today and tonight, the snow showers will be ending with those skies turning clear into early Thursday. Then as we head into Turkey Day, trending warmer with temperatures with those stronger winds accompanying the warmer temps, and that'll pretty much be the same story for Friday. Looking at the rest of the weekend and beyond, we do expect a prolonged dry spell with no significant changes. We will have some small ebbs and flows in the jet stream as it stays pretty much north of the state and this could last deep into next week. Well again earlier today we had some scattered snow showers develop along the uh, western mountains and valleys as well as South Pass but the bulk of the activity occurred along and east of the Continental Divide affecting areas along I-25, Interstate 90 and South and southeastern sections of Interstate 80. We did talk about a couple snow squalls that developed. One formed early this morning north of Casper along I-25, especially near the Midwest exit, producing some bands of localized heavier snowfall. Then later on in the morning, we did have another band of heavier snowfall develop along Interstate 80 east of Rollins near Elk Mountain in Arlington. This one was kind of the bigger of the two, producing some heavy inconveniences for travelers, even backing up the traffic for a couple hours before it's started to clear up late this morning and early afternoon. Again, through the rest of the night, becoming dry and clear with cold temperatures settling in with light to breezy winds through early Thursday. Then for Thursday and Friday, going to combine two into one. Weather conditions will be mainly dry statewide with seasonal to mild temperatures, warmest temperatures along and east of the Continental Divide. The one exception will be some overnight snow showers possible impacting the far northern mountains and valleys as we get Kind of a rogue clipper system to skid across central and eastern Wyoming, but for the most part, it's going to pass through mainly unnoticed. In southeastern Wyoming, along sections of I-80 and I-25, we are going to see those westerly winds pick up, especially in the high wind-prone areas and especially for Thanksgiving Day. Westerly winds at 20 to 35 miles an hour with general gusts in the 40 to 50 range, but the high wind-prone areas, especially Elk Mountain and Arlington, Bordeaux along I-25 and possibly even the summit between Laramie and Cheyenne could see some gusts exceed 60 miles an hour Thursday through early Friday. And some of those gusts might even stick around during the day on Friday, although the pressure difference should subside a little bit as we wrap up the traditional work week. As far as travel impacts expected for the holiday and Black Friday, going to call for some leftover morning wet to slick spots Thursday morning in the wake of those snow showers that happened today. Then road conditions will become favorable Thursday afternoon and overnight. Then basically through Friday, we can expect no weather-related road impacts through much of the plains and a northern valley. Same story for far southwestern Wyoming, where things are pretty much free and clear. The one exception will be those a strong gusts and crosswinds impacting the high wind-prone sections of I-80 and I-25, again mainly tomorrow, but possibly again for Friday, causing some heavy inconveniences and impacts to light and high-profile vehicles. Now, as we fast forward to the end of the weekend and deep into next week, we do have this persistent ridge pattern anchored over the southwestern United States. And this is the 500 millibar map of uh, projected winds across much of the United States, and it will be fairly representative of weather conditions deep into next week. Here's Wyoming. We have that mild Pacific West and northwest flow just kind of drifting over the Rockies and right on into the state. And this will give us a lot of sunshine, a few occasional clouds and temps continuing to run seasonal and even above average. One thing it will do, since we kind of sit on the eastern periphery of that ridge axis, it will call for a little bit of a difference with pressure at the surface, high pressure over the Rockies around western Wyoming, Idaho, and Utah, combining with a weak trough developing over the plains, causing that pressure difference to create the atmosphere conducive to some stronger wind gusts, possibly again late Sunday and maybe even Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. Otherwise, going to be pretty favorable for travelers 
heading back from festivities with family and friends throughout the weekend and for those getting a head start on the Christmas shopping. A reminder, with tomorrow being Thanksgiving, we will not have a normal video. Our next one will come on Friday. Thanks for listening and watching, everyone. Have yourself a great Thanksgiving, and we'll talk to you again on Friday.